okay? And then you just take it in from the side. It's quite fun in that you've got to be really coordinated. And then you just kind of sp spread it out. Yeah. Well, it's a Norwegian method of making hay, which in Norway is called a he This is called a hesh in Norway. Um, so we call it heshing. So the point of doing it is uh, to be able to make hay when there isn't good weather. Because all you need is one dry day to put it up and then you just can leave it there until, it, until the weather gets dry enough to take it in again. So it can sit out like this for weeks. So again, slow down a bit more. You've got the right idea, but just, just, just take, yeah, just take your time. I wonder if coming in at more, at the moment you're sort of coming in at this angle, maybe you can come in like here and then. Alder is not known for its strength, actually. It's usually very brittle when it's dry uh, and not so good for, for building anything that you want to be strong, unless it's in a situation where it'll be wet. So um, traditionally it was used for making piers or clogs, uh, and it really is strong when it's wet. So if you use it, like in our situation where we've got a really heavy clay soil, um, it'll go into the ground, it'll stay strong as a trellis and, and it won't rot. It's very satisfying indeed. <laughs> it's like a medieval torture tool. <laughs> this is the tool I've brought to show from D. It's a planting spear and it made planting my cell grown trees really joyful instead of a pain. Um, and basically you just uh, stick it in the ground, do a little twizzle and it makes a little hole perfect for you to just pop your cell grown tree in. Yeah. So you get the seed with its husk and all its stuff and then drop it in through a funnel and it falls down a chute and there's a hoover which sucks the air up so it lifts the light stuff up and out into a hopper and the heavy stuff drops down into a bucket. So that's your start point. You then identify how far apart you want these. Uh, for pigs it's about we use it about every three paces, so sort of three metres or so. Uh, for the cows, we maybe do sort of four to five. Um, and we simply pace it out, put them in the ground, like that. Set up an end point. Same thing again. Into the ground. Brace it. Like that and that's your line set up. So you just put it into the middle bit. So that's your start. That's your one, two, three, four, five, and back. You walk along, hooks in like that. And then to tension it, these little things are on a spring and this has got holes in it and you simply find the tension that you're happy with, clip it in like that, and that's your fencing, and that's it done. So yeah, I think Farm Hack is a really good event because it brings people together from all different spheres, and it brings them together with a quite sort of radical edge, basically, to kind of fix their own problems. It's very much an expression of DIY uh, and kind of radical anarchist uh, culture. Um, which has got a lot of mileage in it, basically. And I think that like, the longer we spend together it, as groups in these kinds of settings, uh, the more likely we are to solve some of the key problems that face all producers. So bring it on.